for what the teacher was talking about and what I could see myself applying down the line. Hmm, this is, this is some good stuff, man. We're gonna talk a little bit about the money, but before we get into that, okay. you, while in Virginia, you ran for some form of office. Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that, bro. Well, uh, last spring, I ran for city council hmm. uh, in Lynchburg, Virginia. Um, well, let's back up a little bit. Before that, I served on the Lynchburg City School Board for three years. Um, people, the school board, they help set the budget, they help set the calendar, um, they do hires and fires of principals and superintendents, uh, and help set policy. Mm -hmm. So, um, people ask me, how did you get on the school board? Okay, my daughter was involved in a situation where there was an altercation with another student. He was Caucasian. Mm -hmm. He hit my daughter, oh, no. and my daughter hit him. And the school decided that they were going to have meetings with the son and their family without me. Oh, no. And so they had three meetings and came to the conclusion that my daughter needed to be suspended 365 days. First offense, straight A student, never been to the office. Okay, so of course he was affluent. He was from an affluent family. They heard that, you know, this incident happened and wanted immediate action. So I get the call to come to the school and they're like, yeah, well, um, Mr. Collin, we're gonna have to suspend your daughter for 365 days. I said, wait, what? I was like, this is her first time ever getting in trouble. Like, what do you mean? I was like, and how did you come to this conclusion before even involving me in the process? So I had all these questions and I could tell they were getting irritated by what I was saying. Then, then they just tried to sh shut me down. They were like, there's nothing we can do, Mr. Polly. It's policy. Mm -hmm. There's nothing we can do, Mr. Polly. This is policy set by the Lynchburg City School Board. I said, Lynchburg City School Board? I was like, who, who are they? And they were like, well, well, they're appointed by the, the Lynchburg um, City Council. Okay, so you got a group of people that appoint another group of people that can set this policy. And so I went and did my research on the Lynchburg City School Board and how to become a part of it. Actually, my wife encouraged me. She said, you know what, Derek, you need to go down there and you need to find out when the next school board elections are or the next appointments are, and you need to put your name in the hat. I was like, babe, I really just want to get this situated for our daughter first, you know what I'm saying? And then I'm not really trying to start no, no big mess i just trying to get but she was like it's a lot of children that this happens to especially black children that get suspended 365 days and imagine if you weren't there to fight for her she can't go to school for a year what would we do mm. with a she's an eight she's eight years old mm. what do you do for eight with an eight year old for a year not being in school that's cr oh man it's crazy that's a crucial time reading math all these different things fundamentals for a year, you going and you think that's the best solution? You think this is the resolution to this issue it's for my daughter to miss school for a year? And they, they stuck with it. I said, okay. Just so happened, and this is crazy how timing works. The uh, the next appointments for the new school board members was the following week. So I got off work. I went in my work clothes to the interviews because they do interviews where they ask you all these questions, trying to fill you out if you'd be a good fit on the school board. And I didn't hold back. I let them know how I felt about issues. They asked me how would I respond to certain things. And lo and behold, I was selected. I was appointed by Lynchburg City Council to join the school board, okay? And so me not knowing much about politics at the time, I did not know that outside people looked at school board as a stepping stone to the city council. So the whole time, people on the outside were thinking, I joined the school board because I wanted to be on city council. Hmm. But I joined the school board to protect my daughter, straight mm -hmm. up. <laughs> I'm saying I tell anybody. I, now I ended up doing a lot of other things for other children and setting policy that way. But I joined the school board to protect my daughter, and so me being on the school board exposed me to local government because you have a hundred million. The school was school board was responsible for a hundred million dollars. Hmm. Yeah. So you start talking about numbers. You start talking about big money and math. Okay. So now you start talking about okay, where's that money going? Why is that money only going to these schools? Why don't these schools have this? And you start understanding the politics and what's behind what's making things. After the first school board meeting, I get a call from a congressman. I'm sounding like, yeah, the Congress people watch this? Like, it's that big of a deal? Because it's money involved. It's money tied to it. They monetize education. So then I started under, I started getting into local government, understanding what my city council did. Okay, what does my city council do? You know, okay, they set the budget. They determine if streets get fixed. They determine which neighborhood get re gets revitalized. They determine if your fire fighters are paid. They determine how much your police officers are paid. They determine if you're gonna fully fund school. They determine if you're going to pay your teachers. How much mm -hmm. you're gonna pay? All these different things I never knew. 
And so now I'm understanding what the importance of these bodies of government are and what they actually control. So during my three years on the school board, everybody kept asking me, was I gonna run for city council? Initially, since that wasn't my reason for getting on the school, I didn't wanna do it. You know, I don't know anything about that, but as I started learning about it and start seeing how stagnant the city of Lynchburg was because of the members of city council, they have a large responsibility. You know, They have to do a lot of things. And if a certain group of those people wanna keep things a certain way, they can. Hmm. They're in positions of power to be able to keep things exactly how they want it to benefit and so I realized nothing was going to change if nobody contested and so that's what prompted me to run for city council.